It's my birthday. So we're gonna go and eat at, what is it, hibachi buffet, yeah. right? I'm also gonna show you guys how I do these dirty meals and then clean them up and still get my protein in um, and not really destroy my macros. At least, let's hope not, because I didn't pre-plan anything, so we'll see what happens by the end of the day. <laughs> Look at her adorable outfit. We bought these two at the same time from Old Navy, and I was like, we must take photos in them. I think Daddy got a couple good shots, right? We'll keep trying throughout the day, but that's my goal. My cute little hair. Oh, I dressed her up like it's her birthday. <laughs> Put a sticker on her face. Put a sticker on your face, right? It was from her Paw Patrol. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. You want me to take it off? Very first plate, trying things out. They have a lot here. I'm definitely saving room for dessert. You have to see that. <laughs> Sushi time. By the way, I did not like my stuffed mushrooms. Everything else is good. <laughs> you want me to try this one? Oh, nice work. Want tuna? <laughs> it tastes like tuna. And some more sushi because it tastes so good. <laughs> the light is horrible here. <laughs> I love these, but they're like a hundred calories per one. And I used to eat like four without knowing it. And I was like, oh my god, I had 400 calories. It feels like nothing when you're eating them. But then you just look at it and you're just like, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? <laughs> You can eat them up. Enjoy. And now the desserts. We left space for the desserts. Because they look so good. You gotta show them. Oh my goodness. Uh, already no to this. I don't understand the flavors. <laughs> She's enjoying her jello. And I don't know. I'm gonna try these. They look really fresh and soft. Do you like coconut? <laughs> After eating, we gotta walk it off. So we're gonna go to Cole. Right by it. <laughs> Out of all the toys, this girl wants her Play-Doh. Ever since she was a baby. I can't open it. <laughs> you patient? I'm excited. I found a couple cute shorts. These would be one of them. I like the feel. They're very soft. <laughs> So we are back. I kind of feel very, uh, what is the word, lazy now. Even though I didn't eat like super bad or a lot, uh, it had I been bulking, like I used to eat like three plates, right? And then still have dessert on top of it. But I would eat a lot. It was completely different. And now that I'm leaning, like kind of didn't even want it. Like we both agreed that like, I guess once you know that you're full and you there's no reason to continue eating like we didn't feel the need to eat which is weird I don't know I really had my mindset on like totally binge eating and being a piggy but that didn't happen when I eat at a Chinese buffet you'll notice when you eat out what you eat more of where you go it's usually fat and carbs and then your protein is kind of low unless you force yourself to have some high protein like I forced myself to have some salmon because I'm like I need some protein wasn't the best salmon actually but I ate it anyways just because of that like when you know you need your protein you do it um, but it's still kind of low I ate about a thousand calories which when I was bulking I was eating about a thousand to a thousand two hundred on my first 
first meal after my fast. Um, it just helped me reach my calories. So that's kind of what I did. I will be taking a protein shake, which is gonna save me now. Um, a lot of people always question like, there, there, there was actually a girl who's like, I haven't been going out since I started your plan because, you know, I don't want to screw up my macros. But it's like, it's really not that difficult. Like, through time, you learn what to avoid. Like those sesame balls I showed you guys. Like, that's something that you really have to question yourself. Is it worth it? Like, do you really, like, if you eat, like, two, you're already at 200 calories. Is it worth it to you? Um, yeah, I like them, but when I found out how high in calories they were, it's like, I... I started to not like them as much and I didn't feel that they were worth it anymore. Um, so you learn what foods you should really, really just stay away from unless you're bulking and have the calories or you have no appetite so it helps you reach your calories. Um, but besides that, you start making smart decisions. You just know. And this is also another tip I gave you guys before. This is when fasting comes in handy because you fast. Um, and then you get to eat and not really worry about what you're eating too much. Um, this is how I treat a, a cheat day. So then I'll eat, um, but I won't really track my macros. I'll just make sure to reach my calories. So it's okay if it's a little bit more high fat. But because I'm fasted, everybody else around me already has breakfast and possibly lunch or another snack in them. So they already have those calories and that's why they feel more restricted and they have to hold back and they can't really enjoy parties or if they go out to eat. And in my case, it was like, Psh, I haven't eaten anything, so I can eat whatever I want at this point. Um, and it, it just makes it easier for all, any occasion, parties, holidays, um, just do fasting and bam. But don't just only fast one day. I don't know if it, I mean, it doesn't really, I mean, I guess you can as long as you reach your calories, but you don't get the fasting benefits. Um, so that's another tip, something I do. So for the day, since I only reached about a thousand calories, um, I still got a couple more calories in me. I'll probably have another meal our late night snack, and I'll take my protein shake. And this is why I like, when I like and incorporate supplements like this, is because uh, the protein shake that I take only has 0.5 grams of fat. So it's not adding to my high fat day already, and instead it's just boosting my protein to 24 grams. And carbs is only three grams, so it's really just getting your protein in, since you know when you're building muscle and trying to maintain it, you gotta make sure you're eating enough protein. Um, this is why this comes in handy. Again, the link is in my bio. If you want to save, um, you can go ahead and follow that link. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these couple tips. You can use it on your birthday or for holidays. Uh, we're going to end the vlog here just because it is my birthday and I kind of want to just enjoy it with the family. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. And until tomorrow, bye guys.